All right. So moving on with our uh, second example for uh, for change of variable. Now, if you didn't go over the first example, make sure you do because um, I go over the general format that we're going to work with with these kind of questions and I'm going to use the same format. So, <clears throat> so we have this, uh, this limit as x goes to 1 of the square root of x minus 1 over the uh, third root of x squared minus 1. So the first thing with limits, what do we always check? Can we make a direct substitution? So if we sub in 1, into the denominator, we'll get uh, 1 squared is 1, and then the third root of 1 is just 1 as well, so 1 minus 1 is 0, and that'll be undefined. So we can't make a, uh, a direct substitution, unfortunately. And uh, notice how we have these, like, uh, these x's in radical terms. So the first thing you want to do with this kind of question is change these to exponential. So the square root of x, that's, uh, that's pretty simple. That's just x to the power of 1 half, right? And then this one, let's do on the, uh, on the top here. So the third root of x squared, that's the same as x to the power of 2. And then the third root we could rewrite as 1 third. And then uh, multiplying these exponents, we get x to the power of 2 over 3. So this will be x to the power of 2 over 3 minus 1. Sorry, I forgot the, uh, the limit as x goes to 1. So we took, this, uh, we took this radical limit and changed it to uh, an expression in terms of um, rational exponents. Uh, I suggest you do the same so you could kind of just see it clearly and then when we do our general substitution it will be a lot easier. So notice how we got these, uh, these weird exponents, these ugly exponents, so we know we're going to have to make a change of variable. And uh, what do we always start with? So we always start with our general substitution. Okay, we start with our general substitution, and uh, what I always do is I always write out what exponents I'm working with. So I got 1 over 2, and I got 2 over 3. And as I mentioned in the previous example, what's our general substitution? Well, it's equal always to u is equal to x to the power of 1 over the lowest common denominator. And what's the lowest common denominator between 1 over 2 and 2 over 3? Well, that's just 6, right? So x to the power of 1 over 6. So this is our general substitution. Um, now, as I mentioned in the, uh, in the previous video, sometimes teachers will tell you that the correct substitution is to say x to the power of the lowest fraction. Um, in this case, unfortunately, that won't work. You can try it, um, but it will be very hard for you to get expressions in terms of you to sub in for x to the power of 2 over 3 and x to the power of 1 half. So uh, it's always x to the power of 1 over the lowest common uh, denominator. So uh, we got our general substitution. So what do we got to do now? We got to make a substitution for x to the power of 1 half, x to the power of 2 over 3, and x as x goes to 1. So let's start with this as x goes to 1. So what we do is we write out our general substitution or our general formula here, x to the power of 1 over 6 sub in 1 for x and we get u is equal to just 1. So as x approaches 1 that's equivalent to u approaching 1. Alright now let's make a uh, substitution for this x to the power of 1 half. So what we do is we write out our uh, general substitution first u equals x to the power of 1 over 6 and now we need to take x to the power of 1 over 6 to the power of something to get 1 half, right? So if, we, uh, if I do this up here, we got to find out x to the power of 1 over 6 
to the power of some kind of some kind of um, number is equal to x to the power of one half, right? So basically, that's the same thing as saying one over six times a equals one half because we're going to multiply this one over six and this a value. So then a is just equal to one over two divided by one over six, and that's just equal to three. So we know that we got to take this x to the power of one over six to the power of three to make it equal to x to the power of one over two. What we do to one side, we do to the other. So u to the power of three is equal to x to the power of one half. So we got our next substitution for x to the power of one half. Now let's make a substitution for x to the power of two over three. So first we write out our general substitution. So we got u equals x to the power of one over six. Now x to the power of one over six to the power of what will give us two over three. So let's do it on the top here. So we got uh, x to the power of one over six to the power of a has to equal x to the power of two over three. So that means one over six times a equals uh, two over three. So a is equal to two over three divided by one over six. And when we do that, we get four, right? So x to the power of one over six to the power of four will give us x to the power of two over three, right? Because uh, one over six times four is four over six and then four over six simplifies to two over three. Now, since we took this side to the power of four, we gotta take this side to the power of four as well. So that means u to the power of four equals x to the power of two over three. Four over six, which is two over three. And we got our next substitution. So now what we can do is we could take our three new expressions and sub them in to this limit here, right? So the limit as x approaches one, well, as x approaches one, we got a new expression as u approaches one. x to the power of one half, that's equal to u to the power of three. And then we write out this minus one here. And then x to the power of two over three, we got a new expression in terms of u as u to the power of four minus this one here. So notice how we took this limit in terms of x's and uh, we have a new limit now all in terms of u's and it looks a lot smoother. There's no, uh, there's no weird exponents here. Um, so we have a new limit. First thing we check, can we make a direct substitution? Well, as u goes to one, u to the power of four will be one and then one minus one is zero. So we still can't make a, uh, a direct substitution, but this is a lot easier to work with. So I'm going to continue this limit here. So the limit as u goes to one, now u cubed minus one, that is a difference of cubes. So we'll end up with u minus one, uh, u squared plus u plus one. Um, I use the difference of cubes formula. I went over that in the change of variable overview video. So if you're not comfortable uh, using this formula yet, go back to that video or even better, go back to advanced functions and do a couple of these questions. Now this u to the power of four minus one, all right, notice how this u to the power of four minus one, I could change to u squared squared minus one. And that will be just a difference of uh, a difference of squares. So this can factor to u squared minus one, u squared plus one, right? This we can't factor, this part we can't factor. However, this is a difference of squares as well, right? So let's keep factoring the, uh, the denominator. The numerator we'll write out. So we'll have u minus one, u squared plus u plus one over u squared minus one, that's a difference of squares, so that would be equal to u minus one, u plus one, and then this u squared plus one, we write out, we can't factor that. And then notice how the u minus ones will cancel out. 
So we'll be left with the limit as u goes to 1 of u squared plus u plus 1, this bracket that's remaining, all over u plus 1 over u squared plus 1. And then if we sub in, uh, now we can sub in um, a value of 1 for u and the denominator won't be 0, right? So the, uh, the expression won't be undefined. So subbing in 1 for u, we'll get, uh, we'll get 3 at the top, 1 squared plus 1 plus 1. That's equal to 3. 1 plus 1 is uh, 2. And then 1 squared plus 1 is 2 as well. So our final answer ends up being 3 over 4. So the limit of this, of our uh, original expression, is equal to 3 over 4. All right, let's do a recap of this question. So we, uh, we got this uh, limit. And uh, we had these x's in radical terms. We then uh, switched it to, uh, to exponential. Then we made a, uh, a general substitution. Uh, then we made um, expressions uh, equivalent to all of these, uh, these x values. Made these expressions, took these expressions, subbed them into the limit, had a new limit in terms of u, did some factoring, so we had a uh, difference of difference of cubes, then we had a difference of squares, then we had a difference of squares again, the u minus 1's cancelled out, then we were able to sub in 1 for u, and we ended up with 3 over 4.